Good morning. I had a revelation, and I don't even remember if I was high or not, but that's not even important. Um, I noticed, um, and I've I just been taking a look at my habits from the last year or two and how that's changed because I had time to just sit back and reflect on a whole lot of stuff, and I noticed that um, I kind of just stopped talking. Like, I've still been into, like, certain aspects of what I used to do, but I pretty much cut out a lot of what I was used to doing in the first place. Like, I really don't have a whole lot to say to nobody. And one of the reasons why is I realized uh, my words are a whole lot more precious than I ever gave credit for. And I kind of just let them go to waste frivolously or uh, words of advice going to people that I know, hey, you're going to do what you want to do. I don't know why you're wasting time talking to me. I don't know what you even looking for. Well, I know. That's why I know I'm wasting my time. So I had to stop doing it. And um, now it's different for me that I'm actually valuing something like the amount of words I use. Not that I'm keeping account, but man, <laughs> I'm already funny about the social aspect of life anyway. I can talk. I can talk my ass off. And um, I would say the majority of the people to come across me wouldn't even think that. So it's kind of funny how I balance that out. It's people that I just really click with. And those are the people I gravitate to or they gravitate to me. However that works. Um, we kind of find each other. Everywhere I go, it's like one person, maybe two. They just find me. They fuck with me. And that's just what it is. And, you know, for the bulk of everybody else, I'm just around you know, we might have some kind of interaction, but it's really not about a whole lot. It's just the the natural song and dance we do in passing. Um, yeah, um, I thought about strangely and just looking at my social media habits. I thought about one of the things I used to do is like spread a lot more information than I do now. And. I guess I had like a couple of different like waves. I was ahead of a whole lot of what's happening. Like it's stuff people talk about now. I was talking about 10 years ago. So um, <clears throat> I'll be honest and say, yeah, you know, a couple of years ago when it started, I was like, hey, wait a minute. Like now y'all want to talk about this. Like now that's the topic of discussion. But like I was the weird old nigga. I was hotep. I was all this other stuff before. But now y'all get it. So, like, damn, I, this is another one of them themes I had to deal with in life with just being ahead of the curve. That's frustrating. I'm not patting myself on the back because I don't like it. I don't like being in a position where I feel like I'm just always in the wrong spot. Like, what I'm talking about is not interesting because y'all haven't got to that point yet. I got to wait for y'all to catch up. But by the end... Like, I've been off of that. So now what? Man, I can't go back to what I was doing or saying before because I'm not even interested. <clears throat> I talked about this before that one day I stopped as a theme in my life because I look back at all of the things that I used to do, everything I was interested in. Man, if I had to put a percentage on it, I would say... We over 80%. <laughs> a good 80% of what I used to do, I don't do. Why? One day I just stopped. I don't care. Like, I used to know ridiculous stats. It didn't make sense to know, but it was just like, I'm a computer. It's in there. So I was um, like that into sports and like multiple sports. I watched everything. Basketball, football, hockey, tennis, golf, um, I watch X Games. I watch um, all the winter sports, Olympics, like, um, man, table tennis when they came on ESPN, like all of that. I watch everything. And now, man, I don't give a fuck about a sport. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about a, a pro athlete, none of that, man. I still keep up with NBA. 
because I, I keep up with the NBA because I like I like the way they pull off the theater of it. It's just like male soap opera. It's so much drama, but um, yeah, I like all the movement. It's a lot of stardom, and they keep you interested because they always like switching it up. But um, man, yeah, so I, I'm I'm kind of an NBA junkie. Uh, the Pistons suck in the way they do, kind of kind of mess it up a little bit for me, but that ain't never stopped me from just enjoying basketball because I've never been about one team or one player. I like enjoying the game and enjoying like just seeing them play. Watching them play is enough for me, as long as it's professional because, you know, I don't have an interest in the other the other levels like I used to. Um, I don't watch the same shows I used to. I don't have the same hobbies. Like, man, what do I do? None of what I used to. It's not to prove a point. That came out weird. It's not to prove a point. Um, man, I'm not trying to... I'm not even trying to make a statement. It's just what's happening. It's like I'm shedding old layers. Naturally. It's not intentional. It's just happening with with time. And now I'm like, okay, this is who you are. And it's so different from who you used to be. Um, I'm starting from scratch in a whole lot of areas. And I just got to the point where I like it. I can actually enjoy the fact that I understand trust the process now. And now I'm at the point where I can actually enjoy it. No matter what's going on around me, uh, a solid foundation is more important than a whole lot of other shit that people make important. But you got to make sure that foundation is unshakable. So <laughs> this is what it looked like on the other side of 30, I guess. Have a good morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time it is when you see this. I'm out. I had a dream.